Hey guys, we got lots of astrology happening this weekend and the central themes are likely to be in terms of relationships and finances. We have a zero degree Venus Pluto conjunction that is coming into play this weekend. Venus, of course, is entering the sign of Aquarius. This is setting up on one hand, a mutual reception with Uranus, which is indicating sudden change in relationships, sudden change to things to do with finances or economies, money generally, but Venus and Pluto also coming together. That is a lot of the same things. That is some type of purge, transformation, regeneration in regards to relationships, in regards to material or financial situations, business partnerships, legal situations. It's probably going to be a weird weekend, you guys, especially in the context of other people. Very powerful encounters, powerful interactions, powerful or transformative connections with others. Very though, like coming to the end of the road type of energy, like ready to end a chapter, turn a page, all that type of stuff so much to talk about let's get into our report of the weekend you guys let's look at all of this in some more detail how are things happening for us this weekend energetically and what might we be able to expect as we move towards next week welcome back to my channel you guys today is friday february 16th 2024 my name is aubrey this is your astrological outlook of the weekend where we are narrating the shift of the ages in this video, you guys, we're going to be talking about the energy as we have it coming together this weekend, and we've got a lot of it. we got a lot to talk about. It is a, a busy weekend out there, especially in the realms of, like I said, relationships, finances. Um, there's so much to talk about. There's so much to say. We have so much going on simultaneously right now that is actually helping us to like shed our old skin and literally like step into an entirely new version of ourselves that is like outfitted with this higher purpose that we are going to become much more aware of and really begin to move towards as this 2024 year unfolds and as this Aquarian generation uh Pluto and Aquarius begins to take root and bridge us into the true age of Aquarius over this next couple of years and this is because Aquarius is a sign all about the future it has a lot to do with helping us to break out of karmic patterns that have kept us attached to um limiting mindsets okay from the past and help us kind of free our consciousness in a way that and awaken to um more unlimited potential that exists within us okay and these higher purposes and this higher destiny in alignment with our soul's true evolutionary path in this life uranus and aquarius is an energy that likes to align us with the future in such a way that it facilitates the highest future path to come into fruition all right. So as we move into a generation that's characterized by Aquarian energy, that is going to be a 20 year period where obstructions and blockages to growth in alignment with that authentic highest potential are removed, <laughs> whether we like it or not. This will be a 20 year period of towers crumbling, but us realizing like when we hit the ground that, you know, we actually have this whole new lease on life and it radically alters the way that we relate to our reality and to ourselves and to again like our potential it has a lot to do with reclaiming personal power entering a phase of greater self mastery through this conscious awareness the great awakening all these keywords why am i getting into this because today we are embracing that energy that's a very good way to put it with the the venus oriented nature of things right now but venus really is the entire highlight of the energy this weekend actually i feel like honestly like moving forward through the rest of this month um you know aquarius the greater part of aquarius season and also 2024 and this is for a couple of reasons okay and we're gonna be talking a lot about venus in this energy today because like i said she really is sort of the highlight of the weekend and everything therefore that she represents and that both of her signs have to do with as well um okay venus right now one of the reasons that she is playing such a, such a significant role is because both of her signs are hosting some you know important energy we have taurus right now which is ruled by venus which is hosting a seven year uranus transit over the course of the seven years that Uranus is in the sign of Taurus, we will awaken to authentic potential in such a way that we are able to cultivate, build, create, and utilize it uh, to manifest some things that are, you know, 
beautiful and secure and abundant and stable in our 3D physical reality. Taurus is the sign of the builder. Taurus creates from raw material that which stabilizes and beautifies and creates abundance in the material world and when we're dealing with a uranian transit of taurus we're going to be awakening okay to our individual potential to do that and so that's a big deal so you know for this entire seven year period actually there's like in uranus is the planet of dynamic sudden change and as a result of awakening right so major changes in the relationship dynamics of our lives are likely to go on over the course of this seven year period and you know we're talking about the sign of taurus so this also has to do with like um material comforts but it has to do with like partnerships like who we work with to build these projects it has to do with projects it has to do with what we find valuable what we find worthy what we find comfortable like what we enjoy physically it's very sensory okay so there could be a lot of changes going on with our preferences and our desires generally over the seven year period of time now how this applies now is in the context all right uh, we know that we're dealing with that so that's like on a greater you know time scale level like that's just something that is likely to play out or has been playing out that we are in the midst of right now and you may have noticed over the past couple of years just slightly like over time being less attracted to certain types of things and more attracted to other types of things that's just what's going to happen when we have a uranus you know transiting one of the venetian signs but what's extra like significant in that regard right now because of course this is a seven year process this is a slow gradual process but while we have the south node also transiting venus's other sign the sign of libra i feel like this sort of kind of creates like an epicenter of this energy where like it spikes and we're likely to see the release okay of the preferences that we are coming to understand are no longer you know the, the top of our list the south node, the north node and the south node, the head and the tail of the dragon, Rahu and Ketu. The north node is the destiny point and it has to do with where we're going, where we're growing, what we're evolving into. The south node, this is the tail of the dragon, right? This is the karma, but it's what we are being released from, what we have to move on from, what we have to let go of so that we can go through the faded process of growth and evolution associated with the north node energy. So currently we have the south node in Venus's other sign of Libra. What is that telling us? Well, it's telling us that we're already in a seven year period of, you know, radically changing and altering our preferences, our values, our view of our own potential and what we're going to do with it, what we find worthy, valuable, who we want to work with, you know, what we want to build. And now also over the course, you know, this started this past summer and it will go through, you know, the rest of this year, we have a release, like a faded release release um karmic ending okay of the libra the other venus qualities that's the social groups and the connections and the agreements and the commitments and the friendship circles the romantic relationships what we've loved of the past and also you know our image the image the face that we've presented to the world this is when we are shedding our old skin in terms of also like the group think and the ideas that have defined who we've related to and who who we who we have identified ourselves as and how we've related to ourselves and the world around us. So when we have both of these two things happening simultaneously, Uranus, dynamic change in the sign of Taurus in Venus's sign. And also you guys this has to do with money and finances. That's why I've been saying for a long time that we are <laughs> Whether it be obvious or not yet, we are in a major process of some type of economic, financial transformation, transition. Like something big is going to change in the way that we deal with, view, and even value money in its various forms, okay? It's just like it's gonna happen. If we if we haven't noticed it yet through this part of the seven year um, Uranus Venus transit, like we're going to be noticing it as we get, you know, before this transit is over and especially with the way things are lining up right now um, over this next year, this next couple of years, there are just likely to be some major changes happening in the in regards to money on like in value and stuff like that on greater scales, greater levels, but you know, 
back to where we're at now and how this energy is coming together and why I'm choosing now to sort of go into this whole thing about Venus and her signs and what's in her sign, the planet's in her signs. This is because, you know, whenever a planet is in a sign, whatever the, the ruler of that sign is doing, like that's important in terms of understanding how that energy and how that planet of that sign is is really functioning so to understand the nature of Uranus right now in the sign of Taurus and the south node right now in the sign of Libra and what that's likely to bring for us we have to look at what Venus is doing and right now as we're entering this weekend and really you know like I said through this next couple weeks while Venus transits Aquarius um she's doing the most in this regard Venus coming into the conjunction with Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius. I've been talking about this. This whole month of February, I've been calling like a cosmic reset, like a, a cosmic reboot, okay? Like a personal, like we're really going through this process of shedding our old skin and we're about to be really reinventing ourselves on a multitude of of levels internally and externally as well and venus hitting zero degrees with pluto is the last of five personal planets over the course of the last just 28 days or so that have made this alignment it being at the zero degrees this is also huge this is revolution this is rebellion this is reinvention this is a, the the critical power degree that holds all the octaves and all the potential of the aquarian frequencies generally so, you know, we're hitting this point of rebirth and all is possible, but the one like necessity, like the one rule that Aquarius follows is it has to be authentic. And that will be the outcome of most of this. Anything that is inauthentic, anything that's a lie, anything that's a facade, anything that is not working, anything that is functioning to block true organic growth and authentic progress and potential in any type of a way, that will not make it through this purge period and the things falling away and the things falling out of our lives right now, you guys, even if we don't necessarily view it that way or see it that way at the moment I'm telling you it is because they're not true they're not authentic they're not real there's some type of false presentation some type of a facade and or they are just not in alignment with what we need to do right now to reach this greater higher purpose and potential that the Aquarian energy insists is going to take place all right so you know, Aquarius, it's another thing we have to keep in mind. Despite the intensity or the power or the pain or the darkness, the shadow associated with all this, Pluto is the lord of the underworld, the fear perhaps, um, the toxic nature of what might come up. It's always a silver lining. It's always a blessing in disguise. It's always this energy of like, why is this happening to me? Like, this is the worst thing ever. But then like the outcome or the impact of it happens to be exactly what we needed to like figure something out or to awaken to something or to shift our perspective or to gain a level of wisdom or experience that actually catapults us out of having to go through that type of an experience again this is karmic like karma breaking cycle breaking energy so <laughs> It's up to us, you know, how we're going to view it as we go through this period of time. Are we going to see the dark side of things or are we going to maintain and hold on to the faith that everything that is happening is truly working for us in our favor, even if it feels like the most painful or the most horrible thing? especially again in terms of relationship dynamics at the moment if you are going through a painful breakup or separation or uh just experiencing some painful relationship dynamics coming up right now coming up this weekend i'm telling you like it's happening for the right reasons even if it feels like it's totally you know just out of the blue or unexpected or you know just totally like devastating or something like that um everything right now is very purposeful okay and it's purposeful in such a way that will actually is actually believe it or not going to result in something that is so much more fulfilling and so much more just gives so much more life to us actually um moving forward 
So, I mean, we've got like the Venus just all the way around. We've got the Uranus and Taurus. That's these abrupt sudden changes and awakenings in regards to the Venetian themes. We've got the South Node in Libra. That's these endings and this release uh, from these karmic cycles and ways of viewing and relating to ourselves and others and you know sort of like the agreements that we've been bound to and stuff like that uh, there could be a lot of sudden breaks in like long-term commitments and stuff going on right now as well and then when we add the the pluto <laughs> venus at zero degrees i mean come on like that's the ultimate in this purge energy purge release but regenerate and transform this is very very actually deeply healing energy we're like getting to the root of it and cleaning out all of the you know darkness or all of the like whatever that has been preventing us from healing um, on some like really, really deep subconscious levels, especially in relation to our heart and where we've been wounded in relationships. How do we know this? Well, I mean, obviously we're talking about Pluto and Venus together and this is the, you know, this is the underworld of our relationship patterns and dynamics and where we surrender our power out of any like you know, to be, to receive validation essentially and out of any sense of like, um, lack of value or self-worth, you know, where we need to receive it externally from others. So we are more likely to sort of surrender various parts of our, ourselves or our morality or, you know, whatever it is in order to get that external validation. Pluto and Venus can bring that up and, you know, it can be in relation to unhealed trauma within us is why we're doing this. You know, root issues is all about root issues, but don't forget you guys. And again, like <laughs> I have failed to go into significant detail yet about this energy and I'm hoping to get there. Um, sometime this week maybe but we are also in a very significant and rare two week north node chiron conjunction chiron being the wounded healer teacher master archetype and energy the north node again being the destiny point so while we have all this like energy that is indicating you know faded release in relationships faded endings in relationships the way and also that has to do with the way that we relate to ourselves and again our own sense of self-worth and um our own sense of like internal value what we are and are no longer willing to accept what we are and are no longer willing to surrender in terms of various dimensions of ourselves we also have this faded process chiron in the north node that is currently underway that is actively in the sign of aries helping us to heal ourselves to release ourselves from these very like karmic patterns that have been keeping us attached to these previous states of victimhood causing us to surrender our power and all this stuff you know that is also being represented by the venus pluto energy that is coming up right now as well it's also very interesting because while we have the North Node and Chiron, you know, we're, we're on this hero's journey. I've been talking about it, this hero's journey through the underworld where we are, you know, conquering like our demons, okay, and overcoming weaknesses and transmuting these states of victimhood. We are, you know, ascending into these greater states of self-mastery as a result of the experience that we gain through, you know, our trials and tribulations and everything that life is putting us through right now while this Uranus. Uranus, Uranus, Uranian energy works its magic in our lives and shakes us out of the ruts and gets us out of the towers that may have been very comfortable, but we're stifling our true growth in alignment with our soul's true purpose. Destiny activating energy that is coming online right now. Um, so it's multifaceted, okay? Like, and that's another reason why I feel like these are such powerful times. It's like, because these things are not just happening like in isolation. Like, it's not just like, oh, you know, we've got these zero degree Pluto parade of planets going on, like big transformations. Like, yes, but that also happens, and which is rare. You know, that's only a 200, one in every 250 years type of thing. But it also happens to be happening in exact alignment with another only like once in 20 year transit, which is the North Node Chiron energy in the sign of Aries, you know, ruled by Mars who's a part of all of this it's so interesting too because after Venus you know after she hits this zero degree it's really we really have Venus Mars and Pluto in a conjunction right now this is powerful you guys this is really like Venus and Mars together this for one this is a super 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 like 
potent, powerful, creative force, okay? The creative force, especially for transformation and renewal right now, regeneration, like beyond, okay? Huge, 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 huge. And as we move through the energy of this weekend and into next week, we're going to have an exact Venus-Mars conjunction that happens as well, and that's going to go on for three days. This is like um, an internal harmonization, like everything that we've been through over the course of this past month, like all the changes that have been going on within us, everything that we've been awakening to, this perhaps sense of a need to personally reinvent ourselves somehow or to make some real like changes or maybe just the way that we're thinking has started to shift or change or you know being drawn to new things generally feeling our mind expand in such a way that we are just like altering our behavior I don't know it's going to be affecting everybody differently but with Venus and Mars coming together this is going to be like a reintegration internally kind of like back into alignment with ourselves after this purge process this is like the 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 um, planting the seed basically of like who we're going to begin to grow into now after we've had this like factory reset. That's another thing that I was like referring to it as this, you know, subconscious reprogramming as every personal planet, sun, Mercury, moon, Mars, Venus, that was the order hit Pluto over the course of this past couple weeks. So, you know, we got probably you know we've been through some powerful experiences perhaps some quite life-changing experiences and now it's going to be time to kind of like heal and come back together with ourselves but you know back to the whole Venus situation of where we're at right now I have more to say about that um Venus entering the sign of Aquarius now not only do we have of course Venus this is her Aquarius transit so the Venetian energy is going to be characterized by the Aquarian archetypes like a desire for something new a desire for something different like this type of year is always generally provoking that type of sentiment um people just kind of like wanting to switch it up a little bit being a little like bored with the regular wanting something you know new and exciting um kind of just being drawn or wanting to do things a little bit different but it's like so super sized and amplified and intensified like a million fold because of you know now we have the mutual reception a mutual reception is when planets are in each other's signs so venus is now in uranus's sign while of course uranus is in Venus is sign so that is blending the energy of these two planets even more and then of course you know to start off this Uranus or I mean this Aquarius transit for Venus we have the zero degree Pluto conjunction which is you know its own like time to make big changes to my personal life and relationships and image and like all that type of stuff as well now more specifically okay just to maybe give like what some of the what people could be kind of dealing with, you know, some of the other octaves and vibes of this Venus Pluto energy. This is always, you know, has a tendency of provoking, you know, uh, it can trigger jealousy, possessiveness, obsessions, okay, especially like in love and money and stuff like that. Manipulative behavior in regards to others can surface. And again, this is likely to bring up these toxic dynamics in relationships, specifically also maybe regarding power differentials. Again, like the combination of Chiron North Node in Aries, this reclamation of personal power after this, you know, hero's journey through the underworld, like I've been calling it, or having to go through these experiences that like show us our worth, show us our value in a way that we are no longer willing to maybe like keep going on with the way that things have been. And simultaneously, the Pluto, Venus, you know, this is creating this desire to kind of like, it's bringing up, you know, anything to do with hidden things in relationships, things that just have not been honest, like things that we've uh, like that have been in the shadows okay and also like toxic and abusive in any way it highlights toxic attachments of all kinds though not even just in love but we're talking about Venus so this could also be in regards to money material possessions images and again where we surrender parts of ourselves or parts of our heart or what we truly want in order to receive some type of external validation because we're not recognizing the worth or the value within so we feel like we've got to give of ourselves you know somehow how in order to receive externally what we don't feel like we have internally and that is also and it's a, usually a result of unhealed trauma you know in our heart or within us or that's happened when we were young or having to do with not having received you know the love or the nurturing that we needed at some point and who we became and how we 
learned to relate to others as a result of that. And the Chiron North Node energy is also bringing up this very same stuff, but in a way that's helping us to actually finally like crack the codes of our own algorithms and release ourselves from this faulty subconscious programming that has been perpetually, you know, creating these karmic loops and karmic attachments that have been reflecting back to us our states of unhealed trauma instead of, you know, helping us to be able to create and choose the proper experiences in alignment with what really fulfills us on those deeper levels which is where we're going now which is why so many drastic radical changes need to happen and so many things need to be removed for our lives in order to clear the path for us to move in that direction karmic release from toxic subconscious programming in regards to self and others taking back personal power regaining our sense of self-worth i think that these things are um going to be fundamental in our processes of growth and change and shedding the old skin and reinventing ourselves over the course of uh this next year and here's another thing you guys this is also very interesting to me now you know how i've been saying and saying and saying that all of these pluto aquarius zero degree personal planet conjunctions are very rare they only have an opportunity to happen maybe once every 250 years when pluto hits the zero degrees of aquarius if the planets are all at a certain point where they will you know go through that same degree range while he's there for the couple of weeks that he's there very rare energy that we've been in but it's fascinating okay because venus right being the last of these planets in that procession to come into the conjunction with pluto also strangely happens to be the only planet that will actually go through this very transit twice in two years this year and next year because remember pluto will briefly retrograde back into capricorn one more time come next fall he will then station direct and he will move back into aquarius at which point he will hit that zero degree mark now by next year when pluto's at zero degrees because remember i said it had to happen in such a specific timing and alignment you know, the way that things happened this year that all of those personal planets just happened to be coming through that very degree range for the couple of weeks that Pluto was at that degree. And that's why we had these personal planet zero degree uh, Pluto conjunctions. But next year, when Pluto's at zero degrees, we won't have that because the planets will be at varying places in their transits of the zodiac they are not all going to be coming through that degree range when pluto is at zero degrees but you know who will venus will venus is the only planet venus will have a second pluto conjunction at zero degrees of aquarius and this makes me think okay that whatever is starting now you know these process of personal transformation or what begins to happen or change or transform along the lines of love money relationships values economies worth assets food land uh everything associated with the taurus specifically but also the libra you know as sort of an adjunct to that energy in terms of like the uranus and the sign of taurus and you know venus ruling the energy of those planets and coming into the zero degree conjunction the very transformative force death rebirth with pluto it is possible that you know what begins to unfold transform you know die and be reborn is going to be taking place over the course of the next year and we could definitely see you know things that start to take root or that we discover this is also you know getting to the truth about things and relationships again as sort of like a component of you know the toxicity or the secrets this can also really bring up like secrets to having to do with love and money that we find out about revelations Oh, it's so interesting as well, because in the midst of this, while we do have, you know, Pluto Venus conjunction and Venus entering Aquarius, setting up the mutual reception with Uranus and, um, you know, just all this going on. We also have, like I said, the moon is forming a trine exactly from Gemini, which is about information and communication, right? To Pluto and Venus on Friday to start the weekend. This is 
making it the topic of conversation. Like whatever is surfacing, whatever we're discovering, whatever we're obsessing over, like whatever like toxic thing or like whatever change we're trying to make, like that is what the topic of discussion is. Like that is what is like flooding the airwaves. Like that is what we're thinking about. There could definitely be like a greater emphasis and sort of like the news and the public conversation on maybe like secrets in love and money, like things being exposed in love and money, like abusive or toxic relationship dynamics uh, that have a powerful impact somehow having some type of center stage or being like a, a topic of public discussion, okay, in the energy on Friday. And then actually as we move through the weekend, Mercury, the messenger planet, news, information, conversation, what we're talking about, the ruler of that Gemini moon that we're going to have going on all weekend because the moon is entering Gemini to form that zero degree trine on Friday. Well, so all weekend we're going to have a Gemini moon going on, which is, you know, this could be gossip, but this is just a, you know, an emotional emphasis also on communicating information, you know, what we're talking about, what we're thinking about, be, really being sort of like wrapped up in what we're feeling as well. But we, with the Mercury Uranus square coming through, remember Uranus from Venus's sign, there could also be some like shocking news information this major revelation right discovery finding something out that like we weren't expecting that really surprises us in some way and this is also uh, a need to learn something different to see things from a new perspective like um we want to move differently we want to break through like patterns of stagnation and stuff like that when we've got a mercury uranus square going on but generally you know this is also likely to be a kind of an ungrounded energy we're talking about you know we yeah, Uranus and Taurus, very grounded earth sign that is not so much when Uranus is there. In the mutual reception with Venus as well, this is, you know, just kind of ungrounding us. We've got so much Aquarius energy, which is a very high speed, high pitch, high frequency, high octave type of energy that can just make us feel like we're hovering a bit off the ground. It might be hard to slow down, especially with the Gemini moon coming through this weekend, trining all the Aquarius planets. This is facilitating, you know, our, our personal process of revolution or rebellion or reinvention that's going on right now. Um, and again, like just this very huge revolutionary nature to what's going on, like, and it's centering in, there's a super powerful, potent, creative force of change with Venus and Mars coming into the conjunction with Pluto in Aquarius this next week. Um, I don't know, you guys, like, <laughs> things are likely to be a bit all over the place, expect the unexpected, supercharged, you know, but likely to be hitting especially things to do with relationships, things to do with finances, even like assets or resources, stuff like that. I don't know. There's also, in terms of the symbolism that's coming through with the degree placements on Friday, there is this strange emphasis on trees as well. We have the sun on Friday at 28 Aquarius, a tree felled and sawed to ensure a supply of wood for winter. 28 Libra, position of the earth, many little birds on the limb of a large tree. And then Mercury at 19 Aquarius, a forest fire quenched. So things to do with trees, stability security roots okay many little birds this is chatter 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 talking about it a tree felled and sawed you know alchemy transforming things from one thing and one purpose to another thing and another purpose to ensure a supply of wood for winter a forest fire quenched also relief is coming from something you guys um we may have had to start some fires there may have been some fire started in our own life we may have had to burn some things down but um you know at the end of the day again like it's the silver lining energy things maybe maybe it was a controlled burn like things are meant to happen and they are happening for a certain reason and it is ultimately like for the best and it's going to put us in this better place healing is the ultimate higher octave of the Pluto energy, this deeply powerful, regenerative and healing energy. It's evolution and that's where we're going. Um, and right now it is just focused on relationships and because we currently have uh, Uranus and also Jupiter, I haven't talked about Jupiter in the energy of today, 
but Jupiter's presence in the sign of Taurus this is also significant. Like we're going to have a Jupiter uh, Uranus conjunction that's going to happen this year as well in Venus's sign. And then with the South Node transit, like there really just is this emphasis. And then of course, Venus is the only one of those personal planets that will hit the zero degree conjunction with Pluto uh, next year for 2025 as well. So um it like I do feel like this is a year this is another year or this is a big year or this is a year where we're going to see the biggest maybe impact of this Uranus transit through the sign of Taurus and just major major shifts in terms of who we are you know how we're relating to ourselves the person that we're presenting to the world how we are relating and interacting and connecting with our own reality and the people in our lives and therefore you know what we're attracting to ourselves as well our magnetism is changing and upgrading to reflect and better magnetize what is in authentic alignment with us and actually you know the south node libra like this this is all also a simultaneous process of repelling that which is no longer supporting our authentic growth and development in alignment with the higher plan and the Aquarian vision that needs to come into fruition while this energy is strong. So that's what I'm going to say, you guys, for the energy of today. Um moving us through this weekend. Uh let's talk real quick on then um the 18th this could be on sunday this could also be so the 17th we have the exact which will be saturday we have the exact uh mercury uranus square so you know there could just be some wild news going on like our day could just be sort of all over the place like don't expect us or anything like don't expect your plans and stuff to go according to plan like things are probably going to get you know maybe thrown up in the air a little bit just go with the flow uh it, it it's not necessarily like it's going to be like a bad thing but it just might not be exactly you know what you were expecting when you set out to do whatever you were going to do type of energy that we have going on uh, again this is also like you know kind of high paced you know or fast paced slow down you know try to stay grounded make sure that you're not getting too far ahead of yourself and stuff on the energy and the energy of Saturday. And then on Sunday, we have the sign of Aquarius being totally straddled by Pluto at zero Aquarius and then the sun at 29 degrees of Aquarius. So, you know, and with Mercury, Mars and Venus in between those two planets. So we've got Pluto, Mercury, Venus, Mars, and the sun all in the sign of Aquarius on Sunday with the sun and Pluto straddling the critical and activating the critical degrees of, you know, those signs. This could also definitely be bringing up major changes in terms of our mind, what we're thinking about, how we're acting and behaving, you know, Mercury, the mind, Mars, our behavior and our actions and our willpower and our courage, you know, how we're feeling about ourself also. And then Venus also, you know, our desires, our preferences, you know, our beauty, music, like even like musical preferences could change. People could be finding like creative abilities and stuff that they never knew they had being attracted to totally radically different things. Like, don't be surprised if like some type of aesthetic or some type of person person or some type of music was always your like type in the past and now you find yourself coming to like a phase in life where you're like yeah, it just doesn't suit me anymore I just don't have the same level of draw to it I'm actually feeling randomly attracted to this totally different thing way over here like that's the type of energy that this type of thing is likely to be bringing up and um that's just what it is you guys so <laughs> i'm gonna stop talking now let's get a synchronicity card god spirit universe what's the final piece of advice guidance that we need that can help us that we should keep in mind as we are going through the energy of the weekend let's see what does it say we i had a whole bunch fall out on the floor but none of them were face up so i feel like i'm supposed to keep shuffling and see what one we get here it is it says exactly exactly it says a blessing in disguise 
And that's literally like exactly what I was just saying about the way that this Uranus energy functions and how we have to keep in mind no matter what things may feel like or what they may look like or how confused we might be or how hurt we might be in the moment, you know, with the, the Chiron North Node conjunction, like that does trigger wounds. But any wounds, okay, that are being triggered in this energy, whether they are past wounds that are coming up now in like some significant ways or whether they are wounds wounds that are being, you know, initiated in this energy now, it's actually not about the harm that's being done to us. It's about what we are going to gain through overcoming whatever that wounding is. And so, you know, we can really kind of despite you know when we're looking at things from a higher place, a higher perspective, which is what the Aquarian energy calls for, despite you know, the pain of what we might be going through or what we might be dealing with, we can really help ourselves tremendously if we can remember that, you know, because of the way that things are happening in our lives now, like this is going to lead us to something better. This is removing something from our lives that was in some way not meant for us or blocking us from aligning with what truly is meant for us and just we've got to let it go okay a blessing in disguise and the lord sent thunder and rain that day uranus energy right 1 samuel 12:18 Thunder and lightning can be frightening and give us a scare, but it is followed by a blessed rain. You are divinely guided, blessings follow. And as I've been like reiterating, reiterating in a variety of ways, this whole report, you guys, that is the nature of the energy right now. We can't necessarily take it personally, okay? The universe, God, great spirit is not out to like get us and ruin our lives actually quite the contrary anywhere that we have unknowingly unconsciously set ourselves on a path that was preventing us from actually you know living our best lives unbeknownst to us perhaps these are the things that we've got to you know that have got to be removed from our life right now even if we don't see it even if we can't you know understand it in that way that's what's going on and um you know we got to do our best to view everything right now as a blessing in disguise. I'm telling you, there will be looking back in retrospect, we will, you know, our future selves will agree with that sentiment and ultimately be glad that we went through whatever it is that we've had to go through over this period of time and that we're dealing with now. So that's the guidance, you guys. Blessings in disguise coming our way. That's what I have to say today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Share it with your friends if you think that they would also enjoy and appreciate this type of content. Leave me comments, you guys. Your information is very valuable to me. If you're having experiences that line up with what I'm talking about in these videos, please let me know in my comment section below. I really, really, I value you guys so much. I appreciate you so much. I'm so grateful for, so grateful that you guys are here on this journey with me as we narrate the shift of the ages and go through these epic times. And um, yeah, so leave me comments if you have stuff going on that is, you know, kind of like emblematic or about or of what I'm talking about right now in my comment section below. If you want to know what's on these whiteboards, I post them in a Facebook group that I have that is linked in my description box below. Um, if you want to see the synchronicity cards of the day, Janice Shellman, creator of the synchronicity card posts them in uh, that Facebook group as well. That's where you can find those and come back with me on Monday. You guys, we are going to have another exciting week of astrology to talk about closing out this month of February and I will be here to talk about it. You should be here too. You don't want to miss it and I will see you then guys. Everybody have a beautiful weekend out there. I love you guys so much and until next time. Bye guys.